Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia. One of the questions I get asked all the time when I talk about EVs is, what happens when you run out of charge? Well, good news, I did that just for you. So we're gonna talk about that. So there's a lot of things going on here. First of all, I wanna be really clear. It's really, really hard to accidentally run out of charge. Like, I'm gonna go so far as to say, you're not gonna accidentally run out of charge. And I'm sure someone's gonna say in the comments, no, this happened to me, I accidentally ran out. You're not gonna accidentally run out of charge on a modern Kia EV. And we're gonna show you why some of the things uh, in there make it very difficult to do. Uh, when I ran out of charge, I very intentionally tried to do that. And we have a company car which I can do that in. So that was fun. So we're gonna talk about what happens, uh, a trick that worked for me that may not work for you once you run out. And uh, we're also gonna talk about how to avoid that. So that's what we're talking about today in what happens when you run out of your Kia, when you run out of charge in your Kia EV. Yep, I'm flooring it. 54, 53, 52, flooring it on the highway. It's going well. All right, first of all, uh, I was driving along and I had kilometers left. The one thing I want to say is your range prediction predicts how much range you have left based on how you have been driving. So let's assume we're going along at 60 kilometers an hour for all of our driving and it's level ground, and let's just pretend the wind's behind us. And then all of a sudden we hit a mountain and we have to go up that hill. So your range prediction may say you have, let's say 10 kilometers left, but reality may hit and you may be surprised to find out that that doesn't always work. So your range number is very, very useful. However, there can be things that throw that number off. And in my case, when I was trying to run out of range, it did say I had more kilometers left than I actually had. Now that's pretty rare because I've also run my personal EV down low. And when I said I had about six kilometers left, um, I probably had about six kilometers left. So what happens? First of all, you're going to see in your dash, and I don't have a picture of this because I was driving, you're going to see a low battery warning. Uh, it's EV battery low. It's a center of the dash, bright orange. You're going to see that first. That means it's time to get off the highway to um, avoid anywhere where you're high traffic area because you're still going to have a perfectly normally driving car, but it's going to be around seven or eight percent battery life. It's going to say, hey, you need to get off the highway. So EV battery charging warning, uh, you'll, you'll know exactly what it is, and I may have the wording wrong. After that, after that happens, what happens is you're gonna get a turtle light coming on, and it says low power mode, and I'll show you a picture of what that looks like right here. Now that low power mode definitely gives you lower power. You're gonna give it some throttle, and it's gonna cut your power back. Now, this is my perception of what happened, but I was in a traffic area. It ran out a little sooner than I thought it was going to uh, because of the way I was driving, which certainly did not fit the way these EVs are normally driven. So um, you'll see that in my case, I was going, let's call it 110 kilometers an hour or so. I'm sure it was legal at that speed. Uh, and it took me down to about 90 and it seemed to hold it there for a little tiny bit. And then it took me down to 80 and it seemed to hold me there. And then it started going down one kilometer an hour all the way to zero. So yes, it will stop you. You can floor that throttle pedal and it will stop you. Uh, however, a little trick that I learned is once I was completely stopped and I ran out of juice completely, I was able to turn the car off, turn the car on again, get up to, in my case, about 70 something kilometers an hour before that turtle light came on again and took me back down to zero. I did this three times. Now I'm not saying, and I wanna be very clear, I'm not saying that that will work for you. However, if you happen to be stranded in a place where you don't think it's a good place to be stranded, try turning the car off, try turning the car on again, and then you can continue on potentially. There's no manual that says this. Uh, it's just what worked for me. Now I wanna show you some things inside the car that are gonna ease your mind. You will not run out of charge by accident. Let me show you how. All right, so I'm sitting inside the 2021 Kia Soul EV. This is the limited model. This is the longer range. First of all, you have 433 kilometers of range. So for me to sit here in Brantford and go to Toronto and back at any speed is not a problem. Uh, you can go long distances, you know, hours and hours of driving. If I go highway speeds, I'm going to go four hours of highway speed before I even get close to the end of this range. So you have a lot more range than you think. And this is important to me because... Uh, these cars are rated for 383 kilometers range. The Kia Nero is rated for 385 kilometers range. 
But for at least three seasons of the year, and really into the fourth season, winter, you still have far more than that. So here's an example. The car is not full. That little bar graph along the side shows you when it's full. I'm not full. I'm at 433 kilometers. And actually, let's just show you exactly how full I am. If I can just use my left hand here. There we go. Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want either. There we go. I am at 95% charge, 433 kilometers. So you can see I've got 450-ish kilometers on a full charge uh, right now the way this car sits. So what I've done, let's just get rid of this screen here to make it easier to film. Uh, again, I usually do this with the right hand. There we go. Uh, because 433 kilometers is a lot, what I've done is I've entered the Prime Minister's address, uh, Prime Minister of Canada, his address into our GPS system here. Um, so this is important because if you're going to go on a long trip, you should use your factory GPS. Uh, you have a few options uh, for ch finding charge stations. We'll talk about that in a second. But use your factory GPS because before I even start, if I hit resume route, that's basically the same button I'm going to hit to start the route. I'm going to hit resume route. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to calculate. It's going to avoid ferries because I've chosen that, which there Please are no ferries. Please proceed to the highlighted route. The route guidance will start. Please proceed to the highlighted route and the route guidance will start, is what the voice says. Now, it says insufficient charge to reach destination. Visiting a charging station along, visit a start charging station along the route. Well, that sounds like a great idea. So in other words, it's already going to know I'm not going to make it. It's about 549 kilometers to get there. Peter, you've got about 425, 430, depending on a whole bunch of different things. You're not going to get there. So it's already going to warn me. And then we're going to hit search for stations. Now, whole bunch of options in here. Do I want to stop for a station soon? First of all, we're going to search for stations along the route. But do I want to go near the current position? Do I want to go near the destination? So let's say I want to drive 400 kilometers or I can get there. Or you can have a favorite station that you can save. So these are all near my destination. But I can scroll down in here. And at this initial list right now, I can find stations along the route. And I can go up to 280 kilometers away is what it's listing. There are a lot of stations. You're not going to accidentally, and let me look at how far they are, 280, 280, 280, 280, 279, like 234, 210, 205. Stations are everywhere. It's one thing when you have an EV with 100 kilometers of range and all the stations are 25 kilometers apart. You can't skip a, a uh, location, but here there's a lot. There's just a lot of stations, and that's only the ones that are in here. If you connect up Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, something like ChargePoint has an app that shows in here through your app there. So you've got more stations to choose from. So you're going to find things. You've got a good range warning there. You've got a range uh, calculator here. And those are really key things to make sure you don't run out of range. And keep in mind, we've got over 400 kilometers in this car. So those are two things I really want you to keep in mind because you're not going to accidentally run out of range. After you get in, you're going to see warnings in the dash telling you right in this section, hey, you're going to run out of charge soon. And then you're going to stop. But long before that happens, you're going to be able to search for charge stations. They really are everywhere on major routes. Um, if you're in the middle of nowhere in the country, you're probably not an EV buyer anyways. Let's be honest. Uh, people who live in really remote uh, areas, they're not shopping for EVs very much. Um, however, if you live anywhere populated where you're buying this car, you're going to find charge stations. And again, these are only the ones that are in this system. Download a several apps. Flow is a good one in Canada. ChargePoint is a good one in Canada. Electrify America, Electrify Canada. My parents go to the States. They use Electrify America. You will find in your apps all the information that you need. So to recap, you've got a lot of range. It's a lot more range than you think you have with these vehicles. And I find driving around 100 to 105, the range estimate is very good. When you start going faster than that, the wind resistance is your enemy. So if you've got 100 kilometers to go and you've got 100 kilometers of range, find a road that goes 60 or 80 kilometers an hour, you'll probably get there. Don't go 120 kilometers an hour because you won't get there. Uh, those are two couple little tips. Wind is your enemy. Uh, bad weather, rain, snow, cold, using your heat. Those are your enemies. If you're really tight on range, turn your heat down or off. Just use your heated seats and your heated steering wheel. Uh, those are all going to help you, but you will not accidentally run out of charge. You will know. If you're going on a long trip, use your navigation. Feel free to use the apps, the, the charge station uh, in your navigation system, but also look on your apps on your cell phone, especially with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Like I mentioned, ChargePoint carries it right through to your screen. ChargePoint will have more up-to-date information than even your nav system. You will not accidentally run out of range. If you do, I can't promise you this will work, but for me, it did. Turn the car off, turn the car on. It might get you an extra couple kilometers. I did that three times to get back here because I was silly and tried to burn through a lot of range quickly. 
uh, thinking I had a little bit more left. Finally, trust not the range number when you're in your last few kilometers. The range number, your driving conditions may have changed, and I certainly was driving more aggressively trying to kill a lot of range near the end of my trip compared to how this car, this type of car would be driven normally. Uh, so the range number, don't trust it at the very last little bit. Trust what the battery says. If it says uh, low battery warning, you need to hit a charge station, do that. Once you hit that turtle mode, you're going to start losing power and you want to be off a main road when that happens. So to be honest, it wasn't that stressful of an experience. Now, I knew I was going to run out, but you will as well. Uh, you can find charge stations. You can find places to stop uh, quicker. Uh, but if it happens to you because you're silly like me, it's not the end of the world. That turtle mode allows you to get off where you need to go, but it will slow you down. So fun times. Not a huge deal if you run out of an electric charge on an EV. The big deal, of course, it's going to take a little bit of time to charge. If you find a level three charger, 80% charge in just over an hour in cars like these. So you're going to be able to get back on the road fairly quickly for an EV and better technology is coming. So don't panic. You won't do it by accident, but if you do, there's a video for you.